What's up? This is Benito with SCP Diesel. I wanted to make a quick video and show you guys, give you size, a little insight on what I'm working on here. This vehicle right here is a 6.0 power stroke. It came in for a lack of power and a uh, intermittent no start. During my preliminary diagnostics, I found that the vehicle had a tall oil filter cap with a OEM oil filter. Uh, typically, the tall oil filter caps come with a taller oil filter. I personally don't recommend using those because of the amount of concerns that they can cause. But in this case, they went a step further and put a tall cap on a short filter. That right there can cause the symptoms that this truck came in with, with lack of power, intermittent no starts, and probably a couple other things. But it's not recommended to do that because you put you can put air in the high pressure oil system causing things like this so right here i am going about 13 mile an hour i'm about 60 percent on my vgt i'm about 1200 rpm a little bit of boost that's fine about 20 percent on my ipr my icp right here is my high pressure oil and it's about 800 pounds give or take a few which is phenomenal and then my m power is at 49 volts which is great so i want you guys to pay attention what happens when i put this thing under a load so as you can see i start accelerating i'm gaining mile an hour gaining rpm you can see my pr valves at 30 percent going up my icp is going up so you'll you'll notice that if you're cruising this thing on a back road or or on a highway just cruising you won't ever feel anything it'll it'll run perfect and so what happens now is when we go full throttle or try to you can see that my ipr now i maxed it out at 84 percent i'm climbing rpm i'm gaining speed but look at what happens now that my rpr is at 84 percent my actual icp is at 1300 pounds when my desired is right over 2000 so that's a very very big gap that means that this these injectors aren't getting the high pressure oil that they need to actuate thus causing you to lose power so let's see if i can go a little bit further going further and we are trying to get we're trying to gain some speed and you'll see my desired go break 3,000 pounds right there i don't know if you saw that I came back down to 2900 and i'm still at 1500 psi um you can see my ipr valves maxed out i got about a seven 17 pounds of boost which is a little low but you know being the fact that we're not actuating the injectors properly that could cause us to lose a little bit of boost as well we're about 30 mile an hour so in this case right here the customer would complain that under a full load or towing a trailer my truck loses power and I pull over, I turned it off, and it doesn't want to restart. Well, part of that is because we're starving the high-pressure oil system, especially with the cap that he has. I know it's a cap and a filter is such a small thing, but it can cause a big concern like this. So what I would do in this scenario, I wouldn't completely rule any issues with the ice, with the high-pressure oil system or the high-pressure pump right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to correct the issue. I'm going to put a factory oil filter cap in it with a factory oil filter, make sure my oil levels topped off properly and then I'll go drive this bad boy again. If I have the same concern, then I know that there's more damage that has already been done, possibly a big high pressure oil leak or a um, a weak high pressure oil pump which in a year model like this is kind of rare but it does happen. Um but that's it boys, just wanted to give you guys a quick insight on and what's all involved when you properly diagnose these things now we know what direction we're going with we know that we have a problem with our high pressure oil system i already did a fuel flow test so my fuel pressure at wide open throttle is over about 50 to 55 pounds so i know we're not losing fuel pressure and the injectors are just going crazy erratic but because of i'm losing high pressure oil so now it's time to start uh, looking into this problem like i said we're going to do another run with this thing and then doing a proper air leak test see if we have any audible air leaks if i do not have any air leaks then i'm going to continue further and checking the operation of my ipr valve and uh, isolate the high pressure oil pump 
If you guys have any issues or any problems, any questions, you guys already know, y'all can feel free to give us a call at 832-925-8508. Or you can send us messages through Facebook, Instagram. You guys already know we're always willing to help. We make these videos to try to share some information and help those guys out there that can't and don't have access to proper technicians and information. Please uh, like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram or however you say that. And uh, thanks again, man. Y'all guys be safe.